Welcome back. Here's your next video. This uh, section is going to focus on freedom of speech and whether or not speech is protected by the First Amendment, what you can say, what you can't say, and you know, that kind of stuff. So now we want to look at some different terms. So speech, whenever you think of speech, you think of like the verbal expression, things that are coming out of your mouth. Okay. And that's what we call pure speech. So pure speech is very simply verbal expression of thought or opinion. So it's just the actual speaking that we do. Okay. The next type of speech is symbolic speech. Okay. So symbolic speech can, can be a whole bunch of different things. Um, it can be um, someone wearing a certain brand of shoes. Okay. So, um, because I wear Nike shoes, um, I'm expressing that I like Nike. Okay. And now am I verbally saying every time I put on my tennis shoes, I love my Nike shoes. No, but by the, just by me wearing them, you know, that I like my shoes. Um, I'm wearing a Google for education shirt today. So that is another way of symbolic speech or expressive conduct. I am sharing that I like Google for Education just because of the stuff that I'm wearing, okay? Uh, next, you have defamatory speech. Now, defamatory speech is the first type of speech that we've um, covered in this video that is actually not protected by the First Amendment, okay? So the phrase defamatory sounds like defame. So if you want to defame someone, basically you're trying to make them look bad, um, you are slandering them, you're talking bad about them, whether that is face-to-face uh, -face or whether that's digitally, like through cyberbullying, uh, which is bad. <laughs> Don't do that. But defamatory speech is broken down into two different categories. Uh, the first one is slander, and that is spoken defamatory speech. So if you're talking bad about someone behind their back or you're talking bad about someone to their face, um, that is slander, okay? Now, the other part of, or the other type of defamatory speech is libel, and this is written expression. Um, so this is like if you uh, write a horrible article in the student newspaper about someone, or you are trolling somebody online, um, or you um, post something uh, on Facebook about how terrible such and such is, okay? That's libel, and that is actually not protected by the First Amendment, okay? So don't do it. Uh, next, we have seditious speech. So while defamatory speech is intended to um, like make someone look bad or to debase their character, seditious speech is one of those things that's um, it's kind of intended to cause a problem, okay? And it's intended to um, cause some sort of a physical disturbance, okay? So uh, whenever the Supreme Court is looking at whether or not a specific type of speech is protected or covered by the First Amendment, they use a couple different um, tests, okay? This first one is called the clear and present danger test. So if a, an individual um, says something, says something derogatory or something nasty to somebody, and then the person that they say it to um, goes out and does something crazy. So like they um, commit this horrible crime, okay? Um, the speech in question, depending on whether or not the Supreme Court thinks that it posed a clear and present danger, may not be protected by the First Amendment. Um, another one is the bad tendency doctrine. So if the speech in question has a tendency to lead to illegal action, then it's probably not covered by the First Amendment. And the last type is the preferred position doctrine. So basically, does the speech in question, is it going to, um, has it in the past been used to promote illegal activity? So if it does any of those things, can't do it, it's not protected by the First Amendment. So there's your freedom of speech video. If you guys have any questions, let me know.